is uh, the first of a series of uh, videos meant to be uh, an instruction for uh, for how to use assembly 64 since it's been uh, quite a lack of uh, documentation and uh, this is my attempt to to make a good uh, good way for you guys to know how to use assembly 64 so this first video will cover uh, the main main tab and a bit of settings and a bit of how to uh, configure vice so here we have installations installations is uh, where uh, your different SD cards location on hard disk are located so typically for a new user you choose add new location and I've created and then you select either your SD card or a place on the disk or, or uh, whatever you feel and choose select then things will appear in the menu here in the tree it is a series of uh, categories uh, which makes up the tree Categorized with demos, disk max, favorites, games, graphics, intros, misc, uh, music and tools. So if we take a look at demos, it's you drill down into the tree, you see two content sources. This is c64.com and Guybrush. Guybrush is a repository that I have created uh, to place stuff that is not scene related but too good to throw away. So uh, we have also CSDB and CSDB is a bit more and it's sliced in different way. All is all demos. Uh, there are different categorizations. So, so on CSDB there are one file demos, there are uh, ordinary demos, there are uh, yeah, there, there are quite quite a lot. Uh, and and uh, since, since there is a lot of metadata around each entry, like rating, it's quite easy to, 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 to make a selection of the top 200. So each, each one of these entries are basically a collection of D64 files or, or SIDs or uh, PRGs, uh, which represent a collection. In assembly 64. So I can start by installing one of these. I can choose the top 200 and we see here that it tries to download and it unpacks and then we get the green arrow here. I can then browse the folder Looking at this uh, on my disk, uh, it's nicely categorized here um, from 1 to 200 uh, and, and that's of course the collection I chose. I can also use, see what can I do more here, I can, uh, I can uninstall, I can, if I'm not interested in let's say this then I can hide it. So now, now I'm hiding so, so I don't have to see it if it's of no interest to me. I can also uh, get some information on the entry. I can click, double click in, in uh, the newest version which, which is not released. You don't have to double click. Uh, it's uh, just, just clicking so but pretty much the same. So by double clicking here you open an internal browser and you can pretty much do whatever, uh, yeah, you, you can drill down into the tree. What's nice here is that if you click an entry, Assembly64 will resolve metadata and it will display uh, here nicely uh, information about the entry. So pretty much it uh, we have yeah we have a 
few different kind of functionalities here. You can add a locally synced directory. This is a special. You can select a directory. I have something here I call personal, so I add that one and click save. Now this one will be placed under MISC and currently there are no files in it. But the concept of this is that I can add files of my own interest in this directory. So um, yeah, so, so, so I can I, I can add files files into this directory and uh, where is it now? And and they will be synced in, uh, into this location or SD uh, SD card or, or whatever. So so this is this is a way to to have stuff that's your own, uh, not in the cloud stuff. But still synced down to to uh, to your USB memory. So that that's a bit of a special one. Uh, we have uh, yeah, you can do update all. You can install and update all. Update all will just update the ones that you have already installed. Install and update all will install everything that's not installed, and it will also update everything that needs to be updated. Here I don't have anything that needs to be updated, but since content is uh, released every second week, uh, these arrows will turn red. And when an arrow turns red, it indicates that there is new content to be fetched. So you can either choose here, update all, and it will update uh, your installation to the, to the latest. Here I can do reset all views. So now I got back the one I choose to hide before. Um, yeah, if we take a quick peek into preferences, I can here set my name. I can set my country, I can choose this one, broadcast when logging in. That is, if, if you haven't seen it, there is a symbol blipping by here sometimes when you work and that's, it's a funny feature. It basically takes the photo of you and it flashes, uh, just a funny thing. Uh, but of course you can choose to be private. Uh, if you click keep me private, you will not be visible anywhere in the system. And if you don't want anyone to, to see that you log in, you just click uh, or opt out of this one. By default, you're private and by default, you're not broadcast when logging in. Here is the VICE binary path. So I can hook VICE into this. So I, I specify where my VICE binary is and I click save. Settings store. So I can now drill down my tree and what happens here when I double click I open a browser still not vice but uh, here uh, th this is uh, this is an internal browser and uh, just just show what's on the uh, the image and from here I can Link in Vice, so, so now now Vice is uh, is starting up, and Assembly knows how to how to uh, start the program. So so this is the link between uh, Assembly sixty four and uh, uh, so that, that's quite nice. Uh, that is pretty much the first. Uh, video it gives you uh, 
a brief instruction of how to get started with the basic features. And the basic feature is to download content. And that is what I have shown here. Uh, so yeah, we end here. Thank you.